I thought punk rock was the Clash and the Pistols and the Ramones and so on and so forth, but um, I think the natural progression was punk rock into hardcore. So initially that got my attention, but then after a while, you know, hardcore got played out too. The reason I got back into hardcore, the reason I got into hardcore was mainly because blah. One, one more time, <laughs> and that is it. Shows that I would go to would be at like 2 plus 2 on 2nd Avenue, 2nd Street, and A7. We wouldn't even go inside, we would hang out outside and just do something, you know. And there was just something to do out there other than in the neighborhood. And music was also intertwined with it. I guess we were looking for something at the time. You, you look at a lot of the hardcore bands and the metal bands, they were trying to find uh, hard names. And um, so really, we had a choice. We were either going to call ourselves Leeway or we were going to call ourselves Juggernaut. Leeway was, you know, is defined as like a margin of freedom and um, it pretty much made sense to what type of style and what our message was as far as what we were trying to do with So we uh, signed with uh, Profile in uh, late 87, right? Yeah. It was 87 and then uh, we did a record up at Normandy Sound, which is in Rhode Island, and um, Chris Williamson took us up there with uh, the engineer called Tom Suarez, who uh, really, really helped us out a lot and was uh, a big factor in getting really good sounds, really, really professional sounds for us that we never had before. So um, to this day, I think the record still stands up to... Uh, most people's first uh, first record. No, everybody stop walking down the line in this fucking place. Oh, I'm getting kind of tired of seeing this shit. Then we did uh, Desperate Measures after uh, Born Expire. Same studio, same people. Um, now we had Jimmy the Pool on bass, because Zowie had split to join um, Serbs of Power. On drums. We had uh, Pokey on drums, who was with us. Zowie went off to be with Serbs of Power to be a biker or something. Yeah, even though Mikey did that second record with us as well, we were, we were now going back, I think, into a, a reverse in a lot of ways. I think we were looking for a different sound after the last two records. Mm -hmm. was too is uh, this European label uh, contacted us and wanted to do another record with us uh, but little did they know that we had broken up a few months before 
So when they contacted us and said, you want to do another record, we said, sure. Even though we weren't a band, I hadn't rehearsed, and we really didn't have any new songs. But we said, hell, yeah, do it. Actually, after Adult Crash, we um, actually put uh, some real good time and effort into the last record, Old Mouth Kiss, and really gave it our all. And I think it still sounds good, and it's, and it's my favorite record, and mine as well. I think I think finally we were able to really see it as a complete record that we were all proud of, as far as our, our own talents were concerned, and what we were able to capture. Man, I go, come to wreck. Man, I go.